And welcome into Making Sense, or it could be getting help from Uncle Sam because there's a state agency that'll help you in both of those arenas. The Alabama Securities Commission. Amanda Sen, you are the executive director. Thank you, Jack. I am now. I'm gonna, now, yes. Yes, yes. Our old buddy <laughs> Joe Borg used to sit in that chair. Basically, what is, what is the Alabama Securities Commission? It's so a state agency. It is a state agency. We say we're the best kept secret in Alabama. We are a law enforcement agency, but we oversee the investment industry. So any broker dealer, if you trade in stocks, the people that help you trade stocks, investment advisor, those that provide you advice, they don't necessarily mm -hmm. trade, but they do provide you advice. Uh, money transmitters, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, that group, they're all licensed with us. And so we have a division dedicated to reviewing the files of these people. We wanna make sure they're not bankrupt. They don't have insolvency issues, criminal histories. Um, and so we license them. We also go in and audit the firms that offer investments. And so that's one side of the house. On the other side of the house, we take and review complaints that come in from all sources, federal agencies, members of the public, um, other state agencies about securities fraud, investment fraud, elder exploitation, which is a mm -hmm. big one um, for us now, especially since COVID. But we have a whole team of investigators that are dedicated to covering the state and investigating these crimes. We also prosecute our own cases. So we have a legal division. Uh, I was here as a prosecutor for many mm -hmm. years and uh, I still split time there. But <laughs> so we're a one-stop shop. We handle it all and we have two people at the front desk that take phone calls or you won't get a, an automated system when you contact us so you'll talk to a live person but um, you know we're a resource to this state and uh, we help prevent and prosecute elder abuse and securities fraud and of course people if they have any kind of a question you're here to answer that question oh yes industry and public mm -hmm. so we have firms here uh, for example when cybersecurity became sort of a thing about 10 years ago we mm -hmm. helped our our investment industry, our regulated industry, develop policies and procedures. So we get a feel for what's going on nationally and we share that with our industry here in Alabama. So we're a resource to both our industry and the public, certainly. Mm -hmm. And if a person has a question, they can go to your website and get all kinds of information. And a lot of those things are at no cost to the person. All of it is at no cost. Mm -hmm. We are all at no cost to the public. We love <laughs> our public and so we offer so many resources. Mm -hmm. But I am excited about our website. Uh, we had one for a long time and that is one thing my predecessor, he didn't have a lot of time to work on um, designing a new website. Right. So when I uh, took that office we got a new website. It's very functional now and we have resources including uh, pamphlets that will explain the types of investments you should be considering at different stages of your life. We have information about the frauds that are taking place in Alabama. Mm -hmm. So people can know if you think, oh gosh, I just received this, this document. I don't know whether it's, there's a scam going on. We have a list of the scams that are out there. Um, we also have a list of actions that we've taken against individuals. And these are usually not individuals in Alabama. They are people that come into our state and hurt members of our public. So mm -hmm. we have a great uh, industry here in the state, but these fraudsters, most of them come in from out of the state. Do you think there's good pickings in Alabama? Well, they, they think commit, that they, until they, they confront they, they, us, that's right? right. Uh -huh. That's right. They're, they're, we're, we're pushing them out of the state now, mm -hmm. but uh, we do have a lot of retirees in the state, and so retirees yes. are certainly a target. Yes. Yeah, people 50 years of age and older in the state of Alabama far surpasses the national average. They do, and it's a, a relatively inexpensive place to retire. Mm -hmm. I think there was a, a Go Bank Rate study that said Alabama was in the, the top five places mm -hmm. to retire based on cost of, you know, able to sustain a lifestyle that you want based on cost of living, mm -hmm. so. Not, not as much tax. That's right, <laughs> we, we don't tell anybody that. We don't tell anybody that. You we not, love it here, that, it's a that's secret. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the way it has to be. So basically, how does somebody get a hold of you if they need to get a hold of the Alabama Securities Commission? So they can call us anytime. We have a 1-800 number, and that is 1-800-222-1253. Mm -hmm. And you will get a live person. We have live people answering the phone. Right. So we'll get you to the right person. And if it's mm -hmm. not something that we have uh, personnel capable of answering, if it's kind of outside of our area, then we'll get you to the right agency. Mm -hmm. But we will take all phone calls and... Goodness, so anything. And basically everything is handled right out of Montgomery. Do you have, do you have field offices also? No, we don't have field offices, but we do travel extensively. Mm -hmm. So another part of our, our sort of jurisdiction and authority and a service that we offer is educational, is an educational component. Good. So we do community service events across the state. So while we may be housed here in Montgomery, you can often find us 
all over the state, in the mm -hmm. northern part, in the eastern and western parts, in the southern. Um, any given day, we have a team that travels around and talks with communities and um, organizations or schools, uh, high school students, elementary students about financial education, financial literacy, uh, fraud, what to be aware of, and you know things you need to start thinking about when it comes to investments. Mm -hmm. you, how big is your staff? So we have a staff of 68. I believe now. It, that's nothing. It is a very small staff. <laughs> we say we are not a small agency. We're not a medium. We're a medium agency. <laughs> medium. But we do a lot with the staff that we have because right now the elder exploitation <laughs> reports are coming in and, and uh, you know, I could go on and on about the elder exploitation, but we've had to hire one more victim service officer. So I say 68 <clears> because <throat> she just joined us last month. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, just remember this. It's the Alabama Securities Commission. They're here to help you. We'll be right back right after this.